What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And Lil Dirk then kind of set the internet on fire again with a post on Instagram. Seeing like a lot of people watching what he posts, you know, his words becoming stronger the bigger he get in the culture. He posted something that he's finna shake the trenches up by dropping something without seeing the dead. You know, but when he first posted, it said something like, with seeing the dead. So a lot of people was like, what the fuck they talking about? Then he kind of posted again, said it was a big error. He meant to say he gonna shake the trenches up. I guess without seeing the dead. A lot of people feel like Dirk done said this plenty of times and then he's still insinuating people who passed away. He might not say their names, but he's saying it in a subliminal way. Then there's some people that saying all oh, Dirk done let loose of a lot of shit. You don't see Dirk into trouble with the police or anything like that. He kind of cleaned his life up. It's just people want to hold him to his back, his pants. So I kind of see both sides. You know, um, I think that'd be dope, you know, the culture watching Dirk, you know. A co-sign from Dirk is big. That shit almost like a Jay-Z co-sign in the hood. So, you know, his name, his brand, his temperament is getting real strong in the culture. You know, to be honest with you, Dirk is growing older now. Dirk is not a teenage kid in his early 20s anymore, you know. So him not seeing the dead is strong. But to be honest, you know, getting that older in his life, he shouldn't really be doing that anyway, you know. It's a lot of people look up to him. A lot of people don't realize, you know, it's a, it's a separation in the hood. So it's a lot of young kids that like Dirk that could never fuck with Dirk, never, you know, be in his presence and shit like that because they from the other side. I didn't think that with like charities, give backs and all kind of shit. You know, you get a rapper get famous, he giving back book bags and shit in this community. The ops can't take their kids over there. You know, it's a big separation. So a lot of people feel like Dirk done got so big, so huge, so famous. God didn't bless him. It's time for him to put all that shit to the side and be for everybody in the city and just instead of just one side. So I understand it all. I do think, you know, people waiting to hear some new music from Dirk. He gave the world a group project, and we thought that was big because he did that around Christmas and New Year's. That's like the money time. So for Dirk to drop a group project around that time and not really worry about his own project, I thought that was dope. That just shows what type of dude he is with his homeboys. You know, he want to see them eat. But I wanted to bring to your attention. Dirk say he finna drop a project for the trenches. He ain't saying no dead people names. Now we wonder if he gonna be insinuating, you know? Because he be saying bars and subliminal that kind of feel like he talking about a certain person. So we gonna be listening and waiting for that album to drop. Uh, I kinda wanna ask y'all a question. Uh, and I want y'all to be honest. As honest as you can be. I know it's hard being honest in this era, but if you can be honest, be honest with me. Do you think Dirk is at an age and he's at a point in his career where he's just the biggest that it's time for him to be for everybody in Chicago instead of just for one side? Or do you think, hey, shit happened, it happened, and Dirk got to do what he got to do? You know, and I understand that too because in my opinion, it's not Dirk's responsibility to make nobody rich, you know. But I think it'd be dope, you know, if he was to reach out to another side and grab one of the hot artists and, Maybe that'll speak volumes. Who knows? But leave me a comment. I'll be reading everything. It's the homie True Teller Street Reporter. Bleh, bleh, bleh.